Alright guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make this black-tailed gull, so let's get started. Now th with this one, uh, you're going to want to cut the sheet of paper in half, but actually you could just fold a normal sheet diagonal like this and it will work just as fine, but I think it's a little easier to work with the thinner paper, so let's go. First we're going to fold it in half like this. that crease going. Gonna unfold that and we're gonna bring this bottom up to the top right here. Then we're gonna fold this down like this right in half. Crease that. And we're going to undo that fold like this, so this should be looking just like this. Now we're going to fold this up like this again, and we're going to fold it in half one more time, just like that. Now we've got that done, and we're just going to undo all those folds we just did. So we're going to fold this up just like about halfway between. We're going to bring this third line here, this third crease up to the top here. So just like that, we want it. So this third line should meet with the edge of the paper here. And then from there, we're going to take this corner and fold it up to this crease here. Just like that. And we're going to do the same thing on this side too. So just grab this, bring it up to that line there. So now we've got something like this, and we're actually going to flip it over now, and we're going to take this side and fold it to this middle crease here, bring this edge, actually this edge here, and just bring it to the middle, just like that, and you should have a little bit of extra paper there. Now we're going to fold this side up too. And then we're just going to undo that fold. And now I'm going to fold. Make sure that this corner creases to this second line here, the second crease. So it's going to be like this. And it should fold across just like that. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. So bring this corner here up to this second line. Not up to it, but you'll see. It's kind of this diagonal fold like this. And so it should look something like that. Actually, sorry. And then we're going to undo that fold. basically turn it over and using these creases we just made we're going to just tuck this on the inside like this and this should just even all out so we're just basically doing that tucking this in folding like that and just smooth it out so it should look like this Now we're going to take this tip, bring it to this line here, so basically just folding it in half like this. And now we're going to fold it in half, just like this. So, 
and now we're left with this now we're gonna fold diagonally here across and bring it upward like this just like that and we're gonna do the other side the same so just make a symmetrical fold just kinda use the other side as a guide for the fold there so we've we've got this going and let's turn it so it's like this now and what we're gonna wanna do is fold a diagonal crease from here to here so we're basically just folding it up like that and then we're gonna undo that fold and then we're just going to take it's like this we're gonna take this flap here kinda bring it up and then flatten it out kinda like a triangle so and then we're left with this shape here and we're gonna flip it over and do the same thing on the other side so just kinda like this and just squash it down it should, shouldn't be that hard so now that we've got it like this I'm going to fold this to here kinda diagonal just like that just fold it across and we're gonna undo that fold there bring it down fold it that way and then we're gonna open this up and just kinda squash it and fold it over just like that well, I've Fold it like that. Then we're gonna fold it back like that. So once this way, and then another time in half along this line here. And then we're gonna open it up and basically just use that as a basis to fold this. And that's gonna form the head. Alright so we're going to use that and just basically create the head here use those two folds and it should just kind of work almost automatically or naturally so now we've got this now the next step we're going to do is fo make a fold from here down so let's go ahead and do that So we've got that and then we're going to tuck that fold that in on the inside here just like this and we're going to do that on both sides so just fold it in this should look like this we basically just thin this section out right here now next thing we're going to do happen in this orientation and we're just going to fold these wings down from here we're going to mark the line just fold it down like this bring it forward and we're going to do the same thing on the other side as well so just kind of fold it to match the other side get a symmetrical fold just like that and now we're left with this we're going to make a fold here just like that fold this back piece over and then we're going to make another fold from this corner just out to here 
So, well, we're basically bringing this edge to this crease, to the end of the wing here. So, and it should be like this. Get that crease, undo it, and then we're gonna open this up. Just kind of. And those creases we made should just open up, pop open, and you can just kind of push down here and then fold it this way. Basically just hollowed it out. So it, look, it should look like this when we're completed. And then we can undo the wings. And here we are. We're finished. We've got the black-tailed gull. So I know this isn't black, but that's a species of the bird. So thanks for watching. Check out my other videos, and y'all take it easy. Thank you.